What's up guys, Triple M here again and today we're taking a look at one of the most anticipated mini PCs for 2017. Today we're taking a look at the Byte 3 from Azul and this is probably one of the first mini PCs that I've seen that comes with Windows 10 Pro and this is a fully activated version of Windows guys which means that you can receive updates. You can also install applications from the App Store and any other feature or function that you will be able to do on a regular computer. Inside we do have a quad core Apollo Lake N30 processor and this particular box comes with 4 gigs of RAM but in the future there will be released in the 8 gig version. As far as internal storage, it does come with 32 gigs of internal storage, but this is expandable. You do have an M2 slot inside the device. You also have SATA connection inside, and I will be showing you guys how to install a hard drive, a SSD, a little bit later. On the outside as well, we do have a lot of storage options. We do have four USB ports, two USB 3.0 ports, one USB 2, and one USB C. Another key feature about this box is that it does have a dual display capability, so it does have a VGA as well as an HDMI port. So it's Essentially, you can connect two monitors and you should have an extended desktop display. Of course, the Byte 3 comes with dual band Wi Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, and it does have an IR receiver. Now, this IR receiver, I feel like that's a good feature because the last versions you didn't have that option to turn it on without going to the device. And last but not least, the GPU is an Intel HD Graphics 500, and this does have 4K capabilities at 60 frames per second. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing. You have some paperwork in here. This is a quick start guide. Shows you how to connect. It shows you some of the specs as well, as well as some of the ports on the actual device. We have their card. Are you happy? Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you're not happy, they do have some contact information in the back. They also have uh, IP Vantage deals. If you guys are interested in IP Vantage, go ahead and check the description of this video. And here's the actual bite. I'm going to put this to the side for now. And let's see what else is in the box. All right, so we have a couple things here. Right here we have a jumper. This is an auto run jumper. And what this does is you can actually put this on the board off the Byte 3 and if you lose power on your device it will automatically power back on. So that's a good feature especially if you're using it as a server or something like that that you need it to be on all the time like a Plex server for instance. This will come in handy. And in this bag we have four screws and this is just for securing your hard drive when you do uh, install it inside of the unit just to make sure it stays secured and don't move around. These are thermal pads, and I've seen a couple reviews where people didn't know what these were for. So because this is a fanless system, there is no cooling fans. All the cooling is done through heat dissipation. So this essentially will pull the heat away from the SSD that goes into the M2 slot. So just stick it on top and put it on the system and you're good to go. Here's the power brick. This part slides out, this part goes in, slides on and you're good to go. Now last but not least, we do have the remote control and this is a little bit different because this has an IR blaster. Now this is very important because the new Byte 3 has an IR receiver and this allows you to turn on your device with the remote. So that's big. And the last Byte that I reviewed, it did not have that feature so you would have to go to the device every time you needed it to power it on. Let's go over the buttons. So you do have the power, you have settings, you do have a mute button right there. This is a navigational. Select in the middle, you have menu, back your tab button volume up and volume down so very nice addition i do however recommend upgrading to the azul keyboard remote and this is a beast guys full keyboard it is on um, backlit and it has more options it has a voice control as well so i'll put a link for this in the description if you guys wanted to upgrade but uh, definitely one of those things that you might want to just invest in and here we are here's the main event here's the byte three and on the top right there i don't know if you guys can read it it's basically just saying that this is the heat sink right here so this device might get warm on top so just be careful so uh, this is a standard sticker that comes on all of their device the reason that's important is because this device is fanless so it uses uh, the dissipation of the heat on the heat sink guys so here's the front here's the ir receiver you also have the power button you do have an SD slot, you have one USB 3, one USB 2. You do have the headphone jack, you have a Kensington lock, two more USB 3s, gigabit ethernet, HDMI out, VGA out, you have your power plug and your USB-C. So nothing else, just a um, couple vents on the bottom there. This is where you pop it off to put in the hard drive. This is my first boot up. I haven't installed any applications yet and I just wanted to show you what we're working with in the default state. So let's go to this PC. We just click on properties. 
First thing I want to show is that it does have 4 gigs of RAM. The reason it says only 3.84 is usable, and that's because the graphics card is using some of the RAM for its processing. It does show the processor right here, CPUs, the N3450, and here's the speed, 1.1 gigahertz. And last but not least, at the bottom here, there's a product ID, but you can see that Windows is activated. And that means that Windows is fully activated, guys. All right, over to the storage. We do have 16 gigs of free storage and a total of 28.2. And I haven't installed anything in this computer as of yet. This is the hard drive that I hooked up a little bit earlier. And you can see that has 250 gigabytes of memory and uh, 1.93 is used. And mostly it's just videos that I, I was throwing on here. So I do have a lot of uh, video reviews on here. And I just decided to use that hard drive so what I'm gonna do now is install a couple applications uh, office products also some benchmarks some stuff from the App Store and just do a quick run through play some videos and show you guys how it performs so first things first here's our benchmark results So here's our results from the PC mark. You can see we scored a 654. And if you look to the left there, you can see we have a, a summary of each individual area that was broken down. So we do have a CPU mark, graphics mark. We also have 3D mark, memory, and we also have a disk mark. So here's our scores from Geekbench. And you can see I scored a 1312 on the single core and a 3985 on the multi-core. So let me just scroll down so you guys can see a more in-depth breakdown of what the scores entail. And let me just kind of show you guys how much space I have now that I've installed a couple applications as well as games. So you can see how fast the space will dry up. So that's why it's important to add storage to this device, guys. So right now it looks like I only have five, a little bit over five gigs left. I do have a lot of apps here. I've already done a benchmark, so let's test out some videos. So first thing I wanted to do is show you guys that I do have some 4K files on the USB. And this is the first one. And this, of course, is recorded from my DJI Phantom 3, 4K, of course. And no issues skipping back and forth, guys. You can tell the quality is top notch. Let's try another one. And this is the test video. And just like the previous video, no issues playing it. And this is using the default app within Windows. Now, as far as viewing 4K content within YouTube, no issues with that as well. You can see right here we're set to 4K. I'm go ahead and make it a full screen. And you can see no issues there either. And you can see how vibrant and good the actual quality is. I also went ahead and installed Kodi. And I do have one of the um, newest builds from the Diggs Fire Builds Wizard. This is Disparity. And this is Kodi 17.5. Here we are full screen of this wonderful build and you can see it handles Cody like a champ guys. Now this will handle anything you put at it as far as streaming. I know that uh, this would be a good Plex server which I'll probably use it for but I will need to add more storage. Also productivity, we do have a full installation of Microsoft Office on here. So we have Word, we have Excel, we have PowerPoint. No issues launching those applications either. And they'll launch right on top of each other. Do need to activate Office. That doesn't come with this system, but you can see that launches these applications, runs it like a champ. Do have IP Vanish installed on here as well. I always install this on my uh, devices, and it's just one of those things where when I need to connect, I have it available. Click yes there to enable, and all you have to do is sign in right there. A good thing about IP Vanish is you're allowed up to five devices to connect at the same time. So you can install it on your computer, your Android box, even your phone, and you can go ahead and um, connect when you need to. So my overall gaming experience was very pleasant on the Azul by 3. I am playing Modern Combat right now, and even though this is somewhat graphic intensive, no issues, no freezing, no buffering, no lost frames that I, I noticed. Uh, everything was just running smooth. I felt like I was playing an Xbox. Side note, I am using my Games Here 4, and that is probably the best controller that's out there right now. It works on your Android, on your PC, and it does have a Bluetooth mode as well as a USB where I can connect it directly. 
correctly so definitely one of those things you want to pick up if you're planning to do some gaming on here but i don't foresee you guys having any issues doing some moderate to light gaming on here because i threw some pretty good ones at it and no issues at all so my overall takeaway of this device two thumbs up if i could change two things i would like to see them include more memory on this device out of the box i do feel like 32 gigs is not enough and once you install a couple applications and a couple games you're out of memory so that will at least buy us more time the other thing on my wish list is i would love to see them include with the upgraded controller with the full keyboard I do feel like that will uh, turn a lot of people that's on the fence about buying this into the right direction but overall this is a good device I can see this being a primary media server like a Plex server for instance or is it something that you can leave running not really care about it using too much power because there's no mechanical parts in here guys so that's that's another beauty of it so I'll put a link in the description of this video it's currently $199 on Amazon and I'll also put the link to the upgraded keyboard because I know if you're gonna buy this device you're not gonna want to use the IR remote so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions about this please let me know Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way when a new giveaway or a new video is released, you will be notified. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.